Welcome back to the official Great British Automobilista 2 Appreciation Society channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about what to expect from Automobilista 2, what you should hype and what you should probably hide from to avoid disappointment. Also, I'm going to talk about the early backer campaign and explain why I gave this Brazilian developer £90 of my not particularly hard-earned YouTube money. Let's go! Right, keep in mind I've not played the game yet. I don't know what it's actually like. This is just using teabag detective skills, which are some of the best. Sherlock Holmes used them. Look how famous he is. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Reza, basically what they tend to do is, or what they have done in the past with Automobilista 1, is they got the R Factor game engine, and then they basically just deliver absolutely top-notch content into that simulator. They improved with R Factor 1, they did additional changes to improve the graphics engine or the visual output of the engine, making it look nicer. But they're really their bread and butter is their individual cars that they put into that overall game engine. So the actual car models, the actual handling of those cars, the car sounds. Basically, when it comes to getting a car into a simulator game engine, Reza are some of the best if not the best at doing that. Now, because they don't actually develop the entire game engine, you'll also find, in the case of Automobilista 1, that really the packaging of the game and the feature set is, is basically the same as R Factor 1. It's, it's effectively R Factor 1, but with absolutely bloody brilliant content. So this really leads you into what to expect from Automobilista 2, because Automobilista 2 is using the Madness engine, which you'll be most familiar with from Project Cars 2. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, the actual underlying game engine with Project Cars 2 is actually pretty damn phenomenal. You have graphics that run really well, even not on the highest spec systems, so you can get a good frame rate whilst having it look really nice, which really pays off when it comes to playing the game in uh, virtual reality or if you've got a, a gaming monitor or if you're using triple screens and you know it's quite hard to drive that many pixels um you've got the hosted uh, lobby system where you can just create a lobby yourself uh, and get your friends in it's really nice and quick then you've got all the options with the actual weather and the way the track has like a, a drawing line on it puddles that are actually procedurally formed based off the track geometry proper dynamic track temperature depending on how it's being lit by the sun there's just a whole load of stuff in project cars 2 which is pretty much unprecedented in other simulators but obviously the elephant in the room is that the cars in project cars 2 are not really what i personally would call the most realistic of handling and this is where the hype and excitement for reza using the madness engine is is that you've got an engine there that technically is i think very solid and a developer that has a history r factor one and r factor two of bringing us some of the best simulated vehicles so what i would really expect from automobilista 2 is basically if you think of the project cars 2 shell and what you've got there but then you think of that with better handling cars, some really weird Brazilian tracks <laughs> and licenses that, you, that you'd never heard of before if you've not played Automobilista. Don't worry, they've also got European and, of course, the best British tracks in there as well. But, crucially, when it comes to which cars Reza choose to license and implement, they always pick stuff that's not necessarily the most shiny of vehicle, but they pick stuff that's the most fun to drive. It's, it's like the developer is laser focused on actual driving and actual racing, not the sort of superficiality of, of what's lustful to have in it. What's, what? Well, we need, a, we need Porsches, Ferraris, and uh, we need these bloody boring cars with they drive themselves. No, they, they, they license, they do have some of those cars as well, but they license primarily stuff that's just fun to drive now personally i am hoping that you know they've killed hitler whiting from project cars 2 <laughs> the penalty system that'd be nice i'm also hoping that you know a lot of those little niggling bugs 
have been removed from Project Cars 2, like people randomly being kicked from hosted sessions. You know, like every whiny sim racer, I've got an infinite list of stuff that I would like. But at its core, if Automobilista 2 was basically the same, exact same as Project Cars 2, but just had Reza quality cars in it, do you know what? I, I would be happy with that <laughs> because their cars are just so fun to drive. So what to expect? Automobilista 2, I would think Project Cars 2, but with the content that Reza is saying they're putting in it and better handling cars <laughs> and better sound. And that's what I'd expect. Anything else, anything in addition to that, absolute bonus. Okay, £90 thrown at Reza. Why? You idiot. Don't pre-order stuff. No, don't pre-order stuff, guys. Do, do not pre-order stuff. So, Reza have an early <laughs> access pre order type thing through their website where basically if you pay £90, you'll get two years' worth of support from the game because they're going to have the initial launch and then they've got a, a, a roadmap where they're going to keep adding content to it. And so if you do this, you'll get access to the beta, I think about two weeks before the game actually comes out on mass on Steam. Um, but you'll also get the expansion pack one expansion pack two expansion pack three dirt pack oh yeah madness engine actually has really good off-road driving if you remember from project cars 2 and uh, you also get legendary race tracks parts one to five and the potential that they're looking to add even more content to the game that i think will also be included in that in that 90 pounds so it is a lot of money to just drop, especially for pre-order. And I, personally, I would only recommend doing this if you are literally a weirdo Reza fanboy or just like a super, super sim fan. I mean, really, it, it's just pure cult of Reza. Um, you, you, you're paying to beta test their game, but you're also giving them funds, which hopefully, you would hope, allows them to then license more content. It makes their studio more likely to continue. You know, it's that kind of situation. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit conflicted on it in some ways, but if Automobilista 2 ends up being absolutely fantastic and they license absolutely fantastic content and we end up having tons of fun with it, then those virgin sacrifices were totally worthwhile. I'll put a link under the video to their forum where you can go through the purchase if you are also mental. For those of you that are sane and don't pre-order things, the release price of Automobilista 2 is listed at being $39.99 US dollars. So probably around about 35, 40 pounds, 35, 40 euros, you know, whatever the price is on Steam. So maybe wait if you're not crazy, as I say. But that's about it, really, guys. I, I, I'm still super duper hyped for Automobilista 2. Um, we'll be hopefully covering the beta stuff of it and we'll be having a big Automobilist 2 launch party. But until uh, until that point in time, feel free to click that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you like sim racing content. And I will see you in the next video we do. Happy tea drinking. Goodbye. <laughs>